Uh, so today I am bringing you an unboxing and uh, <clears throat> excuse me so I'm pretty excited about this one you guys the ride or so it should so so we'll see i'm just gonna you know we'll see how it goes i can't say never but for now i don't plan on getting it so i don't know if you guys can see it there's the board oh, finally you guys finally it's here board what do we got here let's see oh look uh this is pretty neat looks like uh covers for the belts so that's a nice little nice little touch right there that i was not expecting because i knew that there's going to be an accessory box but that's a nice touch for sure right there all right, so we got some stickers. The charger, of course. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this up so you guys can see it. Uh, so I have the charger, the cables for that. Some extra hardware, it looks like, which is always nice. Got a uh, T-tool with a little Allen key thing there, which is super nice. I definitely like that. Uh, we got a charger for the remote control. I got, uh, looks like a little Allen wrench here. I'm gonna put that over here actually. Uh, then we got uh, the uh, Kegel, what are these, the uh, pulleys. And let's see, the belts, we got a couple belts here. And last but not least, the remote control. Awesome, so I'm gonna hang on to that. Put the rest of this here. Let's get it out of our way. Okay, guys. So here's the remote. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do because these remotes are the same. Now, one thing I will say, having experience with the uh, Backfire remotes already, is I do really like them. You know, I really love the responsiveness of the remote control, it's super easy. For instance, uh, like my girlfriend, when she, I'm trying to help her learn how to write because now I'm gonna have two boards. Hopefully she'll ride one. Um, you know, I try to work with her on, on easing onto the throttle, and it's so nice because it does allow you to really ease into it. So that's super nice. Um, yeah. So let's pull the board out. Let's get this. Let's get the board out. Now I do like that it does come with 96 millimeter wheels. Um, so that should be plenty, plenty large to give me all the uh, to absorb all the different cracks in the road and give me a little bit of a smoother ride uh, but you know you never know maybe i'll end up switching it up to some some kagamas or at 85 millimeters something like that or i'm definitely going to stick with urethane though i'm not going to go with anything any sort of uh, cloud wheels or anything like that uh, it's just not worth it for me you guys i am uh, I just don't want to cut my range down that much. Warning, warning, warning. All right. So here it is. This is uh, this is it, you guys. Now this is super cool. Um, I knew that they would come with it, but I didn't know that they were going to come on it. So the little uh, 
board protectors here, super nice. Um, okay. I do really like this purple. I know Daniel Kwan made a video calling it pink, but uh, I would say it's more of a violet, violet color. Um, I do like the uh, Backfire cutout here, which is pretty nice. But I do have something similar on the uh, G3 Plus, and the letters have moved around a lot on me, so we'll see how, how much, how long that's gonna last. Uh, so before I start doing anything, any fun, cool stuff, let's go over the board here. Let me get one thing here for us, guys. One quick thing. Let's see. There it is, okay. All right, so the deck. The deck is a flexible maple with glass fiber ABS. So it's a composite deck, a maple composite deck. Um, now it didn't give me the dimensions, so I'm gonna go to measure it for us here. I tried looking on the website could not find them. So 39 inches long from tip to tip. The width here, nine and a quarter inches. Wait a minute, let me see. Yeah, nine and a quarter inches there. And it's about 8.75 inches. So interesting, guys. So the board actually does taper. I was not expecting that. Yeah, literally, it's, um, let me show you guys here. So you can see it. All right, so this is technically the back. This is where the, where the um, belts are. So here we go. So on this side, if I measure this side, clearly over nine inches. And then if I measure this side, under eight inches. So it does look like it tapers, um, which is interesting. I was not expecting that. So nine and a quarter inches in the front, 8.75 inches in the back. Um, and then of course it narrows in the middle here down to about eight, and eight inches, just over eight inches in the middle. So that's interesting. Uh, so nine and a quarter inches in the, in the front, 8.75 inches in the back, and then about eight, just over eight inches there in the middle. Uh, now this is my first belt driven board, so it is gonna be a lot different. Uh, for my initial board, I thought I would go with a hub motor because I thought maybe it would be easier to take care of, it'd be quieter, and it, it really is, or was super quiet when it had the backfire wheels on. As soon as I put the cloud wheels, it definitely added some noise to it, but it's still quiet. Now, without having tried this guy out, I don't know how loud this is gonna be. So let's see, now the wheels, I'm gonna go over all the specs with you guys first. So wheels are 96 millimeter. So 96 millimeter, super big wheels. Now if you compare them to something like this, or even these, these are what, uh, 72 millimeters, and those are I think the largest wheels I have for now. Um, so yeah, so 70, 95 millimeters there. I don't know the Duro, but I think it's 80. Um, eight inch forged trucks. So these are proprietary trucks from Backfire. These are actual forged trucks, so they're not cast, which should give them strength. I've heard some issues with them, but I'm gonna obviously test them on myself and come to my own conclusions. Uh, the battery is a uh, 346 watt hour battery with a projected range of anywhere between 19 to 24 miles. So the, the test rider got 24 miles, 80 kilogram, 30 kilometers per hour, at um, on a flat road. So 30 kilometers per hour is not bad. 80 kilograms is about what I weigh approximately. So, you know, hopefully I'll get closer to 24 miles in range, which would be nice. Um, as far as the motors, these are 875 watt motors each. So that's a total of what? Uh, 1750, 750 uh, total watts. Let's see the lights. Now these do have lights all the backfire boards do, which is, I think is super cool. I've really enjoyed it on this board, so I know I'm gonna enjoy it on this one here. Now, but these are gonna light up in a different color, which is nice. Uh, it's a 12S 2P battery system. Uh, top speed is rated at 30 miles per hour. Now, I did test this board yesterday for top speed, and that will be in this video, so you guys will see it. Uh, but this board yesterday topped 
out with the larger wheels at 100, 100 at uh, 31 miles per hour. So 31 miles per hour on the um, the G3 Plus. Now that was a, on a full battery charge. I wanted to make sure it was full and it was fresh. So I have a fresh comparison because I'm obviously going to do a top speed test with this guy on a full battery. Um, the weight is about 18 pounds. It's able to climb a 30% hill grade and charge time says about three hours. So three hours to fully charge it. Um, so yeah, as far as my initial impressions of the board, I actually do really like it a lot. Um, I think these uh, these are super super cool, this little Tetra here. I knew I anticipated them coming with the board, but I wasn't expecting them to come on the board. So I think that's super cool. Uh, when you compare it side by side with the, uh, the G3 Plus, it looks uh, about the same size. The wheelbase is about the same. That's one thing I don't have for you guys is the wheelbase, uh, but I'll make sure to include that somewhere. Um, so I hope maybe either I'll put it uh, right here for you guys, the wheelbase, the, the wheelbase, or um, when I do my voiceover on the uh, close-ups, I'll do it then. So um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the Backfire Z, th uh, Backfire, Backfire Zealot. Uh, S, the Zealot S, I should say. And uh, I am so, oh, before we go, actually, let's test it out. Let's make sure the standby battery, our standby remote works. Let's see, it's off. Okay, maybe I gotta connect it for the first time. All right, so I got three batteries on the board and four on the remote. So I'm gonna turn it off. It turned off. Let's turn it back on. Boom. It's on. Woo. Listen to that. It's actually not uh, not any louder than I expect. I kind of was expecting it to be louder. So it's actually pretty quiet. I'm so pumped you guys. I'm so pumped for this. Um, I'm super excited to have a board that's belt driven. It's supposed to give you a much torquier ride. And the GT Plus is already pretty fast, uh, so I'm so stoked on this. If you guys follow me on my on my regular uh, regularly, then you'll see that I'm learning to ride a skateboard, and uh, this week I'm practicing in Switch. Uh, so obviously, for my electric board test, I'm not going to be doing it in Switch because speeds are going to be a lot higher, and I need to be make sure that. Um, I don't put myself in a situation where I could potentially injure myself. So I'm going to be doing this in regular, uh, but if you guys keep watching my other videos, you'll definitely see me riding in Switch. So maybe I'll try this in Switch too, but uh, yeah. So for now, I love it. Uh, thank you Backfire, even though you guys drove me crazy. I love the board. And uh, let's turn it off. And it's off. I freaking love that. And. Uh, Let's go check out this beauty outside. Thanks for watching, guys. Just thought I'd uh, share a couple thoughts with you guys about the Zealot S, my newest board, while I have a few moments. Uh, so the board itself is uh, its an awesome board, you guys. I, I really do love it. I really am... Uh, sorry. I really am happy that I ordered it. Uh, would I recommend it to you guys? If you can get it in faster than 45 business days, I highly recommend it. It's a sweet board, you guys. It's definitely very fast. I can feel the power on it. Uh, it's so smooth being belt driven and having a full wheel on the back instead of a hub sleeve. Um, what else? What else? What else? Let's see. So, okay, for beginners out there. For beginners out there if you're looking for a, a board that's going to give you a ride that's a little bit smoother i'd say go belt drive even though there's going to be a, maybe a little bit of maintenance it's not anything that's difficult i mean literally all you have to do is look at the belts to see if there's anything stuck in there if there is you can pull it out if the belts uh tear or rip or anything then you just change them out easy peasy but with uh hub motors you have that thin little sleeve on the back and uh, it's, it's just not conducive to a smooth ride. 
So yeah, if you're looking for a smoother ride, I would say go with the belt drive. If you're looking for, if your main priority is maintenance, go Hub Motors. Almost too much to be enough. I'll make it out. So I know you're So those are my thoughts on the board. I just thought I'd share them with you guys. My mid review review. Um, I do have another session of riding to get in. And uh, in that session, hopefully I'll get the top speed. So far, the current top speed I've hit in sport mode, which was not topped out, was 25 miles an hour. I'm gonna get that with sport mode, and uh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna throw in a turbo and see for a, do a top speed test compared to the G3 Plus. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon.
Hey guys, just wanted to pop in for a moment and uh, share how much I enjoyed riding the Zealot S at nighttime. It's definitely a showstopper with the lights underneath. Now my G3 Plus also has lights, of course, but uh, these colored lights definitely add a, def a little extra touch. And I definitely noticed people uh, watching as we were driving by. Uh, the first thing they noticed, of course, is that bright purple light. Now I do need to get a light on the front of the board. Um, I was looking at shred lights and just need to decide if I wanna buy a single SL1000 or a combo pack. Probably a combo pack because I do wanna have a, a red light on the back so that way I can be seen from the front and the back. Um, but yeah, it's an awesome board, so much fun to ride and hope you're enjoying the video so far.
So I wanted to take a moment to talk about the ride on the board on the street or the sidewalk. Uh, so this board is a belt driven board. I know I've mentioned that a couple times, but I do want to emphasize how much of an impact that had on the ride for me. Um, coming from a hub motor board to a belt driven board, it's definitely a big difference having the full size wheel on the back versus the hub sleeve. It made going over some of the rougher roads that I did a lot more comfortable and manageable. Typically when I'm riding on my G3 Plus and I hit like really bumpy roads, I'm fine when I go over on the front wheel, but as soon as my back wheels go over, um, you know, it kind of wants to vibrate a little extra and then it makes it hard for me to stand on it. With the Zealot S going on that same road with those same road imperfections, uh, I was able to stay connected with the board at least the whole time. So even though I still felt the vibrations and obviously you're going to feel them because, you know, it's a skateboard, not, you know, there's no suspension, but it definitely made it much more manageable and, uh, you know, it was much less scary, quote unquote, to go over those uh, rough roads. So, you know, if, if you're looking at the Zealot S and you're wondering how the ride's going to be, it's going to be a lot better than it would be on a hub motor, at least in my opinion. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it if you made it this far. I appreciate you guys watching, appreciate the support. Um, so this was my, or is my video unboxing and my initial impressions review of the Backfire Zealot S. Uh, so yeah, so I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, as far as, if, as, as a beginner writer, do I think that this is a good board to start with? Uh, honestly, yeah. I mean, I started my, my first electric skateboard was with the Backfire G3 Plus, uh, which is uh, which was touted as their um, longest range board. And I mean, it had a uh, 28 and a half mile per hour top speed. So that's still pretty fast. And then you go to this guy with a 30 mile, mile per hour top speed. It's really not that different. Um, then you have belt drive versus hub motors. Honestly, it hasn't been very long, but it doesn't feel very difficult as far as maintenance is concerned. Um, I mean, I bring the board home. I I clean the boards anyways. Every day when, I, when, I, when I'm when i done riding, I wipe them down, I clean them. So I'm visually inspecting them every time I ride anyways. 
as far as uh, the type of range I got. So I did one full charge for all the, all the shooting I did. Um, I rode the board out of the box initially with three bars just for a little test ride because I had to. Uh, I came home, charged it, and then I rode that night. So I, 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 everything else other than the first maybe five minutes of riding time, and obviously you guys are going to see all that, uh, has been on one charge. And if I look at the remote, then I still have uh, so two. So I have two battery cells left, and it's on the odometer. It says 14 miles. So I've gone 14 miles, and I have two uh, battery cells left. So I think, um, and it had just w just went down. So sometimes even like if I was to put it back in eco mode, maybe, and uh, it might even go up back up to three because I have seen it do that before. So uh, I definitely think I can easily get six miles out of the board. Now there's a lot of stuff that I did um, for this video that would, would not be included in, the, in a regular range test. There's a lot of stops and stop and goes, which um, does eat away at your range. So if you're constantly stopping and starting, just like in a car, it's gonna take more, more power especially if um, the board has to start you from a dead stop. Now with the belt, um, you know, I can kind of push start it a little bit, but you really don't want to push start too much. Um, now with the, with the hub motor version, you know, I do, I'll push start it all the time and then go from there. But for the, um, for the belt motor, I don't know if I'm going to do that. It seems like it's doing okay um, in regards to the noise of a belt drive. Honestly, it hasn't been bad at all. Um, I mean, the, the cloud wheels honestly are loud, so going to a belt drive, it really wasn't any difference. I'm um, actually, I kind of like the sound, honestly. It's kind of kind of cool. Um, I can't wait to get add some shred lights to the board. I'm gonna get some shred lights, probably the 1000 SL1000. I'm probably gonna get two, honestly, two um, SL1000s, and then obviously I'm gonna get some mounts and put them on different boards, because I also wanna put the lights on my regular board so I can ride at night. So I'll pick one of those though and do that. Um, but yeah, as far as um, portability of the board, uh, it's really not that heavy. I mean, I can, you know, I can pretty easily pick it up with, you know, just grabbing it by the side and picking it up um, and holding it there, you know, with, with uh, I mean, it's, it's heavy, but it's manageable. You know, if you want to carry it, you know, I think it said, what, 18 pounds total weight. Uh, so, you know, that's not, uh, that's not going to kill you. Now, if you're carrying this thing, you know, a long ways, that's a little different than maybe, you know, a, a backpack or a, a, a skate pack. I don't know whatever they're called. Um, now it was a blast as for, you know, enjoyment, enjoyability. Uh, it was a blast to ride. I had so much fun. Like I said, I could really feel the difference, um, while accelerating once I'm already going on the Zealot S. A lot different in a, in a different way than I did on the G3 Plus. So um, thumbs up for the belt drive for sure. Um, when I ordered this, it was $9.99 and I got a $200 off. So I paid $7.99 for the board, uh, which I think is a great deal for what I got, honestly. I especially love the uh, standby feature on there. I didn't think I was going to care that much, honestly, because I didn't have a problem just, you know, kind of turning it on. But now that I don't have to, it's one of those things, honestly, you guys, where it's like, it's not a problem to do it, but once you don't have to, it's like, it's, you love it. You know, it's like uh, the difference from the old TVs, old school TVs, where you have to get up and change a channel on the TV and having a remote control. Are you still gonna get up and change a channel every time? No, you're gonna use the remote control. Um, so yeah, would I buy it again? Um, I don't know. I don't know, you guys, that's a, to be perfectly honest, I don't know if I'd buy it again. Uh, the reason, the only reason for that is because the long wait. Like I said, it drives me crazy. If they had an option for air shipping, I would pay it. I mean, I was willing to pay $130 to air ship. Um, you know, I'd be even willing to pay $180 or $200 to air ship, you know. So if I bought the board for $9.99 then got $200 off, then let me, give me the option to spend an extra $200 and have it air shipped, you know. Um, I don't know. That's my gripe. My only gripe up or about uh, dealing with backfire is uh, the super long wait. Because when I originally looked at it, I thought it was 40 to 45 days. It turned out to be business days. So I guess that's on me. But um, other than that, 
other than the long wait times, amazing board. I loved it. I love it. I can't wait to get a lot more miles in on it. As far as the wheels go, I'm mixed before I wrap up. Uh, the wheels felt really good. The wheels feel really good um, on the road. I did uh, slide a little bit. I was not expecting it, uh, but I did slide a little bit and I was able to maintain control. Now I did have to jump off the board and I don't know if I will have put that in or not, but um, I did slide, uh, you know, the wheels gave me great control on the road. It was so much fun to carve with. Uh, so the 96 millimeter wheels, I think I said 95 a couple times, 96 millimeter wheels are amazing. Um, I am definitely considering some other options though, looking at maybe some BOAs, some 90 millimeters, considering 90 millimeter um, or possibly 100, I think, you know, I'm more willing to go down in size than I am to go up in size because the ride's not bad. As far as the ride goes on, on bumpy roads, um, honestly, it's, it's not much different than, than it is on the, the Cloud Hub, Cloud Donuts. Uh, so yeah, I mean, rough roads. It handled it pretty good. I was a little bit more nervous than the board was, I'm sure, obviously. But um, it did very well on the rough roads with the urethane wheels. So if you're buying the board and you want to put cloud wheels on, um, but you're, you know, you don't have the extra funds to buy them right away, don't worry. These wheels, um, I went over some super big cracks on the sidewalk um, where th there's like a gap or like a like a ledge, you know, where it's like literally if you were walking, you could trip over it. Um, and it rode over those pretty easily. So all in all, um, wait time aside, I do give the board a 10 out of 10. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's any more information you'd like, please let me know. Uh, again, if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you watching. Feel free to subscribe or like the video. Um, I always appreciate that. But uh, the comments, I always appreciate that. And I try to get back to everyone. Um, I may not always be able to get back to you as quickly as I want to, uh, but I will get back to you guys. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay strong. Get out and skate or do something that makes you guys happy. Thank you. Why did